So we're moving on to the second part of the book. Now, the second part of the book deals with analytical reading. To explain analytically, Adler gives us a set of rules. Now, this chapter gives the first rule. So Adler is telling us that we should know what kind of book we are reading before we start reading it. So at first it might seem like Adler is trying to tell us to be psychic. <laughs> so we're supposed to know what the book is before we read it. This rule has kind of a little play on words. So the idea is this, you're supposed to know what the book is through inspection reading before you engage in some sort of thorough reading. So once again, you skim. You skim the title, you skim the table of contents, you skim the publisher's blurb. You search for section titles and important paragraphs. And while you're doing so, you uh, try to answer a few important questions. Now the first question you ask is, what's the broad category of the book? And by category, you know, Adler means something like this. You know, where would you find it in the library? Now, librarians are masters of book categories. So ask yourself, uh, on what shelf in the library does the book belong? Well, is it theoretical or is it practical? That is, is supposed to tell you how to do something versus telling you about something. So truths or knowledge about something. Is it supposed to tell you about history? And if so, what period of history and in what part of the world? Is it supposed to tell you about the physical sciences? Uh, and if so, in which field specifically? Is the book about mathematics? If so, which branch? Algebra? Calculus? Geometry? Is it supposed to tell you about philosophy? That is, it's supposed to tell you what it means to exist, to you know, tell you how or, or whether, or the conditions upon you have knowledge, or tell you what it means to infer a conclusion, or, or how to live the good life. Through inspection or reading, by skimming this book, you find out what kind of book it is, the subject matter. And in doing so, you figure out what kinds of, you're getting closer to figure out what kinds of questions it can answer. And which kinds it can't, 